Up in the Santa Cruz Mountains on Skyline Boulevard is an open space preserve with a chestnut orchard. Now, chestnut orchard is very rare, especially on the West Coast. And in the 1800s, there was the chestnut blight, which wiped out millions of chestnut trees on the East Coast. And the American chestnut is a very rare tree these days. Now, this orchard was planted a long time ago by some Spanish settler that people don't really know the history of who actually planted these trees, but some of these trees are ancient. Look at the size of that chestnut tree. That's my daughter, Alyssa. We went for a little bit of a hike yesterday and went out and looked at this orchard. I've known about it for a long time, but I've not spent a lot of time out there. The orchard is part of the open space preserve, and it's managed by a friend of mine who you'll meet in a little bit named Hans Josens. Would you look at that branch? I mean, that branch is like the most inviting branch to sit down on and take a nap. Like I said, this is my daughter, Alyssa. She lives in New York and came out here to enjoy the woods. Hey, Alyssa. (laughs) So this is my friend, Hans Josens. Hans, I've known you for 30 years. You know, the first, you know the first time how I first Seems met you? Seems like a hell of a long, a long I moved, time. I moved into my property. We've been there 30 years. And you came down the driveway in a pickup truck, and you had a German Shepherd. And you said, is this your dog? Do you remember that? I do. Yeah. I do remember that. Anyway, yeah. Hans Josens is the chestnut man. And he's taking care of a chestnut preserve, I would call it. What we call we, it an orchard. An orchard. How, is, how many trees are out there? 113. And all of our trees out here... We did not suffer from the early chestnut blight because... Of isolation. Because we're not near the blight, huh? Right, so the blight affected trees on the East Coast. Uh, uh, the original range of the American chestnut was up to, or no farther west than the Mississippi River. Uh, went from Maine all the way down to the Gulf Coast and some parts uh, in Alabama. Uh, it was said that uh, a squirrel could travel from tree to tree on chestnut trees alone from Maine to the Gulf Coast. I believe it. Without touching the ground. I believe it. I read stories about how the chestnut trees were the salvation of a lot of the early settlers. Yeah, so uh, many communities relied 100% on the chestnut trees alone for their entire existence. Wow. Uh, many tribes in the East Coast, uh, uh, the Native Americans, uh, subsisted on chestnut. Uh, so which variety of chestnuts do you have out here? So. Um, None of them have been uh, specifically identified other than I've got four that are largely American chestnuts. That means that they were hybridized. Chestnuts don't self-pollinate. They're monoecious. Is that correct? Okay, sure. So um, they they only, or they need to have a sister tree to pollinate from. They don't self-pollinate. So you need more than two trees to pollinate, uh, uh, to get seeds. Well, I took a walk out there and I looked at some of the trees and some of them are just magnificent. Yeah. So you've got quite the operation here, Hans. Look at this. You've got gloves for everybody and little baskets. Yeah, sorting tables, gloves, baskets. And you go out in the woods uh, there and you pick your own, huh? Yeah, so 90% of what we sell are, uh, are picked by the customers. They're a color, kind of a golden color. So these are the American chestnuts. These, these are, are the American chestnuts. They're quite a bit smaller than the European They are smaller chestnuts. and they are uh, sweeter as well. Oh, okay. Quite a bit. I'll give you a handful oh, good. Thanks. to take home. And you can compare so, them. So you have just two varieties of chestnut out here? Uh, well, so there are the four largely American, you know, the American hybrids. And then there are three Chinese. And then there's one Japanese tree, but then the Japanese tree has grafted scion wood in some of the other trees, oh, okay. including one of the American trees. So the American tree has both Japanese and American. So these trees are your children. Say again? These trees yeah. are your children. Yeah, they're... You they're, know they're, you know each and every tree. <laughs> I know them better than my kids nowadays. <laughs> have any of the Japanese so out these, here right these now. These are the American and these are the European. Yeah. There's a difference in color and size. Yeah, so these get some, larger. Some of these are quite a bit larger. Right. These are also European. Okay. The Americans don't get that big. Okay, interesting. Is there um, any kind of a disease 
resistance on any of these trees that some of them are so better? So the uh, Chinese trees do have uh, resistance to the blight. Okay. Um, and that's one of the trees, one of the, since the blight came from China, those trees do have that resistance. The, the, the Chinese trees will survive in the wild. They will be, um, they can be harmed by it, but there, there's no mortality. Okay. Okay. Uh, so some of so the they've, so they've got a resistance to it then. Right. So the the uh, restoration efforts. This is kind of noisy. Um, the American chestnut restoration efforts are one of them is using genetics from the Chinese trees in order to back cross. They they pollinate with the Chinese tree, and then back cross every generation. Wow. So it takes a long time. You have to get a crop off of each tree and then you plant those seeds and the surviving trees, the ones that have some resistance, are then used back crossed again, pollinated with the Chinese, I'm sorry, pollinated with other uh, hybrids in order to reduce the Chinese genetics uh, bit by bit, generation by generation. And the hope is to get it down to about 98%, I'm sorry, down to 2% Chinese and 98% American genetics. Interesting. Okay, so they will still final, be a, a hybrid, but- One final question for you. Sure. You open Monday through uh, seven days uh, a week? Wednesday, Wednesday through Sunday. Okay. Uh, close Mondays and Tuesdays. And when do you, shut, when you close up the whole operation? Close for the season, generally by Thanksgiving uh, weekend, or, okay. or the weekend before Thanksgiving. So, so basically you're open about six weeks a year? Yes. Okay. Five and, to six and, weeks. And where are you located if anybody wants to come up and pick chestnuts? Uh, 22322 Skyline Boulevard, La Honda, California. The um, uh, website is skylinechestnuts.com. And then we're also available on Facebook at Skyline Chestnuts. All right. I'm going to go home and roast some tonight. Great. Thanks, Blair.